In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wherever we are, we meet in the name of Christ, who is present in every time and place, as our friend and brother. The Lord be with you, and also with you. A very warm welcome to this Mass on Saturday morning. Today we pray especially and offer this Mass for all those who have died recently, among them all those who have died as a result of the coronavirus. We pray too for their families and friends and all who mourn. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart God will not despise. Let us come to the Lord who is full of compassion and acknowledge our transgressions in penitence and faith. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful Lord, absolve your people from their offences, that through your bountiful goodness we may all we be delivered from the chains of those sins which by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. It was the Lord who made it known to me, and I knew. Then you showed me their evil deeds. But I was like a gentle lamb, led to the slaughter. And I did not know it was against me, that they devised schemes, saying, Let us destroy the tree with its fruit. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will no longer be remembered. But you, O Lord of hosts, who judge righteously, who try the heart and the mind, let me see your retribution upon them, for to you I have committed my cause. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, God is my shield that is over me. He saves the true of heart. God is my shield that is over me. He saves the true of heart. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all who pursue me and deliver me, lest they rend me like a lion and tear me in pieces while there is no one to help me. God is my shield that is over me. He saves the true of heart. Give judgment for me, according to my righteousness, O Lord, and according to the innocence that is in me. God is my shield that is over me. He saves the true of heart. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteous. For you test the mind and heart, O righteous God. God is my shield that is over me. He saves the true of heart. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. I am the light of the Lord, uh, I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you, and also with you. 
Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When they heard Jesus speak, some in the crowd said, This really is the prophet. Others said, This is the Messiah. But some asked, Surely the Messiah does not come from Galilee, does he? Has not the scripture said that the Messiah is descended from David and comes from Bethlehem? the village where David lived. So there was a division in the crowd because of him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one lay hands on him. Then the temple police went back to the chief priests and the Pharisees, who asked them, Why did you not arrest him? The police answered, Never has anyone spoken like this. The Pharisees replied, Surely you have not been deceived too, have you? Has any of the authorities or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, they are accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone to Jesus before, and who was one of them, asked, Our law does not judge people without first giving them a hearing. To find out what they are doing, does it? They replied, Surely you are not also from Galilee, are you? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to arise from Galilee. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. With confidence and trust, let us pray to the Father. And the response to Lord of compassion is, in your mercy, hear us. Lord of compassion, in your mercy, hear us. For the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, for Christians all around the world, for all the churches and congregations represented by those joining in to this Mass, for this deanery, for Trevor our Bishop and for Tim our Dean. Let us pray to the Father, Lord of compassion, in your mercy hear us. For the mission of the Church, that in faithful witness it may preach the Gospel to the ends of the earth. Let us pray to the Father, Lord of compassion, in your mercy, hear us. For those preparing for baptism and confirmation, and for their teachers and sponsors, let us pray to the Father. Lord of compassion, in your mercy, hear us. For peace in the world, that a spirit of respect and reconciliation may grow among nations and peoples. We pray too for the responses to the coronavirus, for those working to find a cure, for those doctors and nurses and medics caring for the sick, for leaders and politicians having to make such difficult decisions. Let us pray to the Father, Lord of compassion, in your mercy hear us. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer. For all who suffer as a result of the coronavirus. We pray too in this parish for Tony, Michelle, Barry, Hilary, Josh, Julia, Father John, Janet, Molly, Rosie, Joan and Val. for refugees, prisoners and all in danger, that they may be relieved and protected. Let us pray to the Father. Lord of compassion, in your mercy, hear us. For those whom we have, offended, whom we have injured or offended, let us pray to the Father. Lord of compassion, in your mercy, hear us. For grace to amend our lives, and to further the reign of God, let us pray to the Father. Lord of compassion, 
in your mercy, hear us. In communion with all those who have walked in the way of holiness. In communion with all those who have died as a result of the coronavirus. In communion with all those who have died recently, among them Anthea, Gordon, Mike, Barry and John. In communion with all those whose year's mind is at this time, among them Donald, George, William, Francis, Pamela, Diana, Patrick, Betty, Ian and Malcolm. Let us pray to the Father. Lord of compassion, in your mercy, hear us. Remember us, separated by pandemic, but united by faith in the body of Christ. May all who see this celebration of the Eucharist know the presence of Christ in their hearts and in their lives. Strengthen our communion, that we may be strengthened in the service of others. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us access to his grace. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for ever. Be present, be present, Lord Jesus Christ, our risen High Priest. Make yourself known to us. Though we are separated, unite us in faith. Though we are apart, grant us the communion of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy, at all times and in all places, to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And now we give you thanks, because you give us the spirit of discipline, that we may triumph over evil and grow in grace, as we prepare to celebrate the Paschal mystery with mind and heart renewed. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to you, our Heavenly Father, who in your tender mercy, gave your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there, by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. He instituted, and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue, a perpetual memory of his precious death until he comes again. Hear us, merciful Father, we humbly pray, and grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, we receiving these gifts of your creation, this bread and this wine, according to your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body 
and blood, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, Lord and Heavenly Father, in remembrance of the precious death and passion, the mighty resurrection and glorious ascension of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, we offer you through him this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Grant that by his merits and death, and through faith in his blood, we and all your church may receive forgiveness of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. Although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer you any sacrifice, yet we pray that you'll accept this, the duty and service that we owe. Do not weigh our merits, but pardon our offences, and fill us all who share in this holy communion with your grace and heavenly blessing, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Let us pray. Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Saviour, gave his back to the smiters and did not hide his face from shame, give us grace to endure the sufferings of this present time with sure confidence in the glory that shall be revealed through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us by your holy word and by our fellowship 
in the body of Christ. United with him and with all the baptised in every time and place, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Sustain us in our isolation by the power of your spirit, that we may live in peace and free from all anxiety. To your praise and glory. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and with all those you love and pray for this day and always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.